Hey everybody, welcome to the, my first episode of a game that I completely forgot the name of. Roguelands, which seems to be a direct sequel from the creators of Magisite, if you've ever played Magisite before. It is quite a fun game, it's, it's well, roguelike, which is where I'm guessing they got Roguelands from. And... Hold up, does that say Data Mancer? Nice. I'm going with Data Mancer. But, however, the games like this are really fun in the fact that I absolutely love, love, love um, Magicite, and I played it a bunch. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my own thing. Now, I have started this before because I was trying to get a, uh, a, a handle on it. What is this? That is interesting. That is interesting. That's going to be weird to use. Now, I've played Magicite before. Oh, this is weird. So this is the type of thing that if enemies get close to you, you're going to have a hard time. So it's just going to take like a lot of um, aiming and a lot of prediction. Um, oh, Jesus, stop moving. This is very odd. So if you've ever played Magicite, it had a crafting system where you would craft on the go and make items and stuff while going out. This is like it, but instead of having a crafting on the go system, it's, uh, you actually craft while... You actually craft only in your ship, and everything else is handled while you're here. Now this is a really cool successor to the Magicite series. I absolutely love it so far. And I played hours and hours of Magicite, and I can honestly foresee myself playing hours and hours of this. Um, so far, everything's pretty similar as far as the whole attack system and everything. Um, the only thing that's really changed, obviously, is the style. Changed a lot. This is a far way down. Um, and pretty much, just like in Magicite, the whole the whole purpose is pretty much to go to the right, find the exit. Um, I haven't been able to tell if there's anything like a um, you've been in this zone too long thing, kind of as there was in Magicite. Because if you stayed in the zone for too long, it's magi in Magicite. Oh, okay. So if you stayed in the zone for too long in Magicite, you would be invaded by pretty much the army of the undead. So if I hit down, do I have like amount of bullets or something before? I don't know why I wasn't doing that. What is this? It is rather an interesting game so far. <laughs> Um, the other thing that's unique about this comparatively to Magicite is while in Magicite you could select different classes which would start you with different starting items, like some ones would start with a better pickaxe but no weapon, some would start with a weapon but no like pickaxe or any other materials to collect resources with. Now, I have already experienced it. In this game, in order to pull out bosses, aka that motherfucker, you need to do certain things. And by certain things, I mean... In this area, it's attack. Oh, I did it? Oh my fucking god, it's the first time I've ever actually killed that thing. Um, in this area, it's kill, or hatch and kill all those things that I've been doing so far. Um, in a cave system, it's like mine enough ore and it happens. Like I said, this game is just like Magicite in some ways, but in other ways they've really improved upon it. So, like Magicite? Yes. But in the same way, it's better than Magicite. I like how the, all, the crifting, crifting, all the crafting is handled back on the ship. So you don't have to worry about, I mean, you 
still have to worry about dying. But you don't have to worry about losing everything before you can even like get somewhere. There's a chest system now, so you can actually store items. I have no idea where I'm going. This game is so cool. The infinite jump system. These little things just give you like a ton of experience and credits and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, the other thing that's cool is the ship that you start in, which you didn't really get to see much of. I can show you more after I die, or when I get to go back to my ship. Is actually customizable. Like there's a build, a building mechanic to it, and I believe all you have to do for that is you get gold or credits from here, and then you sped send gold or credits, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. Alright, fine. But you'll spend said gold or credits. Okay, so this is the thing. Desolate Canyon... Desolate Canyon or Hollow Cavern. I went to the Hollow Cavern last time, so I want to see if the Desolate Cavern or Desolate Canyon has anything else special to offer. This will take me back to my ship. This is my storage. So I can just store shit in here. That's the main... Oh, wait. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to do this. back out in here. So these are all different things and I can take these all back to my all back to my ship and everything later on. Pop that. Shield XP, helm XP, armor XP, ring XP, weapon XP. Now I'm really not sure what weapon XP actually gets me. I haven't been able to tell like do the weapons really level up. Because oh, it does. Huh. That's a mage gauntlet. What the heck is this? Monster Claw. Oh, yeah. Eyeball Emblem. Is that Flutterfly Emblem? Glow Shroom. This little dude's a little quest spot. Um. Alright, put stuff in there. I can't do anything about that. Oh, yeah, when you're in combat, you have different chips and everything. When I activate that one, it's swiftness. It, makes, it just makes me go fast. So. It allows for a lot more, I guess, unique, customizable customizability of your character. Something doesn't feel right. But don't feel right. You can meet your shower, get out of there. Cadet oh my god. Okay, so okay. There's more, I guess, environmental things, i.e. this meteor shower, which is interesting and annoying. Because now I have to deal with... Oh, ooh, that hurts. Oh. Does this very well might be where I... There's no might, that is exactly where I died. And this is a simple adventure site where you can keep clicking these boxes and you're going to keep getting loot. Ooh, I got new ancient stuff. So. Like loot. Need zero minutes. So let's go back to the retry. Is that all my predicament here? I don't remember. Okay. So, now I have stuff. Let me guess. Is this thing still level? Yeah, now it's back to level. So I have all these things in here, however, I don't have any crafting recipes that I've learned, so I just want to go back here, take all this stuff. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to go with three different emblems. Oh, that's a gear forge. So I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait, yes I am. Duh. I don't remember what this is. That's just the rest of combat ships. You'll have to forgive me because there's still a lot. Alchemy. Plants, bugs. Okay. Okay, so never mind. So it's that. 
What do we do with that? Plants, bugs, or monster parts? Oh, that's a mana pack. It's or, or, or. So we'll do the monster claw instead of that. Wait, what tier is this? Oh my god. Now, does it matter which order I put them in with? Oh my god, it does. Ash and dust. Oh, see, now that's what I want. Okay. So, literally, just changing things around will get you to do. Oh my god. Droid fuel. Totally sure what this is again. I, uh, I don't know what it actually does. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I hey, not you. No, not you. Is it you? It's you. I believe there's an actual shop that I would want. Oh my god, it's, oh, that's what the world shards are for. Okay. Now, this is the build, build, build thing. So that's spawn location. Strength storage block. Scrap metal, scrap metal, scrap metal. So this is just like all customizable shit. In other words. So I really don't need any of it. Not you. All these things so far have attempted to say the same thing. So this is actually like the first time I'm really exploring the ship, so I apologize for that delay. Let me go ahead and put this back up here. Actually, no. I'm gonna put you. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll try to make it this way. That helps. Oh, 
assumption, I'm gonna go under the assumption that until proven otherwise, other than XP and such, that you do not. Because I'm currently using the almost. I'm gonna leave this episode here because I'm just feeling hardcore. Sweet, more free stuff. But this game is really fun. My suggestion is that you should really check it out. If, if and only if you really like, like roguelike games, like let's just say Binding of Isaac, Roguelands in this case, Magicite, Enter the Gungeon. I love. Roguelikes. The game is not that expensive. I think it's only like nine dollars right now. So if you want to check it out, my suggestion would be go ahead and pick it up while it is on sale for being in the early development. If you have played Magislite and you want to learn about this game, it is very good. I find it very fun. Now, before I end up getting off, I'm just going to say this right now. Um, for any of those who are watching, this is going to be just like a little quick update on my channel. If anybody is going to be watching this video who hasn't read my description, hasn't subscribed or anything like that, I have fully moved into my new set schedule of when I'm going to be doing live streams, when I'm going to be putting up videos on my channel. Um, normal schedule is as follows. Videos will be going up on my channel 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And live streams will be on Saturdays and Sundays at 10:30 p.m. Um, work permitting if I actually if I have to work late but I still plan on live streaming then I will let you know in some way shape or form if for whatever reason I can't live stream I'll try to put up like an extra video Oh, excuse me, I'm really tired. I'm actually just about to go to sleep after this. But, um, if any, if, like, if I can't live stream on whatever those nights, I'm gonna attempt to put up another Let's Play video just so you have some sort of content. And I'm not just, like, trying to jip you out of a live stream because of that's my schedule. That's the schedule I'm going to be sticking with. So, if anything happens, you can expect another live stream in that place. Um,. Now, like the upcoming Wednesday, I'm not going to be able to do my normal live stream, which will be starting around 4.30, and that's kind of like an all-day thing. That's pretty much like a 10-hour, roughly, live stream, or sometimes I might even start it a little bit earlier. But um, if for whatever reason I can't make a Wednesday live stream instead of just getting one video, because my Saturday and Sunday live streams are usually about three, maybe four or five hours, depending on when I get super tired and have to sleep, but, um, my Wednesday live streams, like I said, they're, like, the ten-hour ones, they're, they are the long ones, or the ones where I have people come over and I do, like, a group live stream, I don't plan on doing, like, solo Wednesday live streams, um, however, the other one I'm gonna be talking about is going to be this upcoming Wednesday, yeah. Well, I really apologize about this. I, like I said, I'm super tired. Um, but my live stream that is going to be coming up this Wednesday, I'm not going to be able to do it. Therefore, like I said, you'll be getting two videos, and those videos will be going up around 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. in addition to my everyday 3 p.m. And um, since I moved into a full schedule of this, this is going to be consistent. Um, the only thing that might actually offer a change is if something happens, like I lose internet connection for a while, or my computer dies, in which case I will give you an update from my phone. I'm not just going to leave y'all hanging, but I just wanted to give out like a quick announcement of what my channel is going to be like. I'm trying to be more of a professional live streamer in that sense, and obviously yawning into my microphone while talking to you guys is not going to be in any way, shape, or form good. But, as I said, 
I am trying to start being like a more professional live streamer. Or let's player. Live streaming too, I guess. So for now, that's gonna be it. That's the rest of the updates. It's everything I wanted to get in touch with or to touch base with. Um my normal schedule is going to be in my description. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give a quick I guess at this point it's kind of drawn out. I'm sorry for droning on. Or I'm sorry for fucking, like, just repeating shit. But I just wanted to get that point out. I just wanted to let anybody who will want to consistently watch my videos, since I am literally still just starting out with just over 30 subscribers. 33, I believe, at this point, at the point of this video being recorded. So anybody who wants to actually sit by and listen to my videos or watch my videos on a more consistent basis, I'm just letting you know that is the official schedule for the time being. If I end up getting to the point where I am, you know, a bigger YouTuber, even less like maybe like 500 subs if I ever get there, I will probably start doing two videos a day and with a lot more edited content than just the flat out content that I'm giving you right now. Right now, I'm trying to give you quality content while also maintaining a job that I work like 40 hours a week at and schooling. So, with that, I'm trying to balance everything out. I'm trying to give you the content that I think you deserve, especially from just a flat out new YouTuber. So, that's it for tonight. That's it for now, I should say. I will see all of you in my next video. Signing off.